Here we are ready for the enzymic browning experiment. I've got everything set up so that it can be as fair test as possible because I didn't want to cut the apple before having everything ready. Otherwise the test would have started without completing elements of the experiment. I've got my lemon juice ready to sprinkle on, cling film ready, a bowl for the boiling water that has just boiled, the water with the lemon juice and the bicarbonate of soda. I'm going to cut the apple into one centimetre thick slices, keeping them all as evenly sized as possible. My apple cut up, I'm going to do two per experiment because then it'll be more of a fair test because you'll have more comparisons. I'm not using the end part because not enough will be exposed to the air. I am doing the boiling water, so I'm going to pour, cover the apples and then literally remove them. Experiment is all set up, so this is it at zero minutes. The control, so the one that I haven't changed anything apart from cutting it up, exposed direct to the air. The apple wrapped in cling film. I've made sure they're nice and tight to try and make sure there's no oxygen in there. Apple sprinkled in lemon juice. Apples left in water with the lemon juice. The apples that were in the boiling water for a few seconds and the apples sprinkled with bicarbonate of soda. I will be coming back and taking pictures. So at 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour, then I'll do two hours and I'll leave it overnight to see the results in the morning. Here we are 10 minutes in. Let's have a look at the color disfiguration. So actually one of the biggest changes is the apple that is dipped in the boiling water. There's actually a little bit on there. Could be because the apple is broken.